Okay, so let's now have an example uh, on the stages, but uh, we focus this problem uh, in the determination whether the beam is cracked or uncracked. Okay. So this problem uh, focuses on the procedure and how to determine whether the beam is cracked or not. So assuming that you have a rectangular beam, uh, 200 by 400 millimeter in dimension, and the beam is simply supported having a span of 4 meters, and having a uniform uh, load of 10 kilonewton per meter. Okay, so your material properties are given. So these are the material properties. So, the first uh, step is to solve for the maximum uh, moment of the beam. Okay, so the maximum moment can be directly solved by using a formula or you can solve it using the, the, the shear and moment uh, diagram. Okay, so if I have here the uh, the beam since this beam is only simply supported i have a 10 kilonewton per meter load 4 meter span i can readily solve for the reactions okay so due to symmetry Okay. Your R, your R here, R1, and R2 are just equal. Okay, so R1 equals R2 equals 10 times 4 divided by 2, which is simply uh, 20 kilonewton. Okay, so if I draw now this shear diagram, I go up 20, then this is a uniform load so zero degree so this is a a uh, negatively uh, directed load so it must be downward uniform slope okay then you go up so this is uh, 20 negative 20 and your final moment diagram now becomes since this is at the middle so the area of this the shear area here is actually the moment there since this is a first degree curve this must be parabolic curve okay so that's how you draw the moment diagram so what's the area of this so the area is the of this diagram here area of the shear diagram is equal to one half twenty times two okay so this is uh, two meters so the area now is simply equal to cancel twenty kilonewton meter or you can readily solve this moment, the maximum moment here, by simply using the formula WL squared over A. Okay? So the second step now is to solve for the modulus of rupture or the cracking stress. So the cracking stress 
and the modulus of prop Jupiter are just the same. So from the formula I showed you a while ago on the first video, so FR is equal to 0.62 square root of FC prime. So this is uh, your FC prime, which is 20. So your stress now becomes 2.77 megapascal. So this is the amount of stress that the concrete can hold before it cracks. Okay. So the modulus of structure simply gives you the maximum stress that the concrete can withstand before it cracks. And we have to compare this to the actual flexural stress at the tension fiber. And we know that in your strength of materials, okay, your flexural formula is simply F is equal to MC over I where M is the maximum moment, C is the distance of the fiber of, from the neutral axis, and I is the moment of inertia. So the moment of inertia of the gross section is given by the formula 1 12 of BH cube, which is only applicable to rectangular gross section. Okay. And your I now can be solved using the values of B and H. We computed it to be this value in millimeter to the fourth. And your C is simply the distance of your neutral axis to the topmost fiber, which is in tension. So uh, your your uh, tension fiber is at the bottom so this is your C equals simply H over 2 okay so H is 400 and uh, you divide it by 2 you get 200 millimeter so F now becomes 20 times 10 to the 6 is the moment this is the uh, distance C and the moment of inertia you get now 3.75 megapascal okay so we compare the two ft or f is compared to fr or the modulus of rupture or the uh, cracking stress and we note that f is greater than fr therefore if the actual stress, this is the actual, exceeds the limit stress or the uh, cracking stress, which is the limit at which the concrete material can only, uh, the, the, the concrete material can only withstand. So we now conclude that the section is cracked. If uh, it so happened that this is less than that, then the section is not cracked. So question, what if they are equal? What if F is equal to FR? So still, the conclusion is the concrete will crack. Okay, because it's on the exact value of your modulus of rupture.
Okay, so on the next video, I will be going to teach you how to do an exact analysis of the end crack and the crack stage after checking whether your beam has cracked or not. Okay, so uh, this will be our next topic for the next video.